genetic testing may be helpful to actually dictate or change their treatment plan. So a good first step is just talking to their doctor and saying, I've heard a lot about genetic counseling. Do you feel like it would be a helpful first step as we're making plans for my treatment? And then the doctor will look for red flags. So what age is this patient that's been diagnosed? What's their cancer like? Um, do they have a family history of cancer? And does genetic testing look like it might be something that's appropriate? And if it looks like it might be appropriate at all, at least to have that discussion, the doctor can make the referral over. The first thing we're going to do is take a really detailed medical and family history so we have an idea whether we see any of those red flags that make us think there could be a genetic condition that's the underlying cause of somebody's cancer. Mm -hmm. So we take the medical and family history, we look for those red flags, we do a risk assessment to see if genetic testing is appropriate and what genetic testing might be appropriate and in some, in some cases who the best person in a family is to test. And then we talk through all those options with patients and about what the test results might do as far as their medical management goes now and also in the future. And we also talk about implications for family members in that session. Genetic counseling is almost always covered by insurance because that's just a conversation. And then most genetic counselors only order tests from labs that will check insurance before they begin testing. And insurance coverage has really improved. So for most of my patients that really need genetic testing, they're able to get it at low or no cost. If someone has a genetic condition that caused their first cancer, that genetic condition may all pre also predispose them to future cancers. So not the current cancer coming back, but a second or a th even a third cancer. Um, so genetic testing can be helpful, again, not only for current treatment, but for a future medical plan. Yeah, there's a great website for the National Society of Genetic Counselors. It's www.nsgc.org. And it's not only a good pa uh, place for patients to find out more information, but it's also a good place for providers to find a genetic counselor or find out what genetic counseling entails.